Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a project to share with you today. We are working through our mineralogy main lesson block. This is a Waldorf inspired main lesson block and we're going to be doing a lesson activity on Pangea. So the curriculum comes with content for the lessons as well as lesson activities. For this lesson, I am using my atlas as well as some tracing paper. And if you don't have tracing paper, you can use computer paper. You'll just need to print out your continents and then cut them out. I am tracing each of these continents and I am labeling them as I go. We've done this project in the past and labeling really helps. I do want them this size so they do fit on a two-page spread in our main lesson book. Our main lesson book is 9 inches by 12 inches and we're going to be taking up two pages in order to do this. Now while we've done this project in the past, we are going to be doing it a little bit differently this time. Now for this project, you do not need to be precise. My daughter is 13, she's working alongside with me, and she was very precise with her project. Now it did turn out way better in the end, so much more lovelier than my example, but for this project you can be a little bit more rough with the edges because Pangea itself, there's a lot of changes that have occurred geologically over time that it's probably more authentic for it to be a little bit rough around the edges and not as precise as the landscapes are today. I am using some chalks to color each of these pieces and I am labeling each of these forms afterwards as well. I'm also giving the whole background just a blue color and I'm just smearing it so that it's all one even tone and I'm using my matte fixative in order to spray it. This is going to set it so that it doesn't smear anymore. You do need to give it enough time to dry thoroughly before you start assembling your project. It's preferable to do this outside since it does have a strong odor and if it's a sunny day, this will dry very quickly. So now it's time for me to assemble everything and I am as well drawing the Mid-Atlantic Ridge because this is part of the reason why we realize the plate tectonics and all of these continents moving apart and this was only confirmed in this century. So this is kind of exciting or in the previous century rather. Next, I've got some tape and some more sturdy tape and some very sturdy thread. You don't want to just use your typical thread. I'm using thread that's intended for like upholstery or for more heavy duty material. And I'm using some very strong adhesive, which is actually fabric tape on either end of the thread. Now, when my daughter did this, I didn't have her do this part because it was so much more time consuming. I just had her use tape. My concern was that I didn't think the tape would stick as well over our chalk and the matte fixative, but actually it taped really well. And I think it's in part because we used our matte fixative and that's why it was able to actually adhere to our paper. So I'm adding some strings so that our continent pieces can move from the original Pangea, which is still a theory, but it's a pretty strong theory at this point, so that it can move from the original supercontinent in what at the time would have been the center of the planet, and then move outward to the positions they are today. So we are working on flat paper. If you want this to be more authentic, you could recreate this using paper mache to, to create your own globe, or you can find a globe secondhand and paint it all blue and then add your pieces on the globe so that you can get a more realistic model of the movement of these continents to where they are in present day. So I have my tape on either end with my string and then I am taking some tape to adhere my continents to the string by adding one flat piece of tape and then taking a smaller piece of tape and then adding it sticky side to sticky side so that there's still a little bit of sticky side left so that you can adhere it to the continent. Now this worked out really well. I had to think through this project since we hadn't done it just this way before and in the end I think that it was a great experience for my daughter and for me as well to see how these continents move from their original location to their present day location and the fact that they are still moving today. So once the project was done I did remove some of the sticky tape 
uh, the little paper on the sticky tape and then I covered it just with some regular tape. So I thought this through so that there wouldn't be any continents or tape in the crease but I did forget about the southern polar region and there was no way for me to fit that without it just being creased once we folded the page and, and moved on to our next project. I hope that you enjoyed this project. I hope that you give it a try. It was very experiential. We really liked it. thought this would be a really quick project, but it did take longer. I think that if you omitted the string, which I feel took the longest part other than cutting, then you could probably get through this project much more quickly. I hope that you enjoyed this project. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information as well as links to all of the materials that we're using as well as video tutorials for all of the other projects in our mineralogy, geology, and earth science block. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.